What is up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 10th JavaScript tutorial and I hope that you guys are ready to have your minds blown because that's what I'm about to do in this tutorial because in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to call a function from another function. Hmm, interesting. So let's go ahead and start with two functions. Function, um, I'll just go ahead and name the first one do first and it won't take any parameters and for the body let's just go ahead and you know give it something simple we'll just print something out on the screen um so write document write and what's something stupid we can put I am first bro or Bo. hey who the heck cares and for our second function go ahead and type function we'll name this do second if you're gonna guess that and we're just gonna write on this document write and write just write like the bunch of twos or something for a second I don't know I'm not really uh, creative tonight but anyways so we have two functions do first and do second and these are the functions that we're gonna call from another function so let's go ahead and make that function right now we'll just go ahead and name this function start since this will be the starting point so let's go ahead and this won't take any parameters either all this function is going to do is call other functions so first it's going to call do first and then it's going to call do second so now if we go ahead and run this program nothing is going to happen because we just have three functions right here pumped up and ready to go but we de we never even used any of them yet so go ahead refresh and check it out I'm refreshing nothing is happening and that's like I said we have three functions right here pumped up ready to go but we didn't start it off we didn't call any of those functions first so go ahead in your program and let's start it off by saying start semicolon so now it's gonna say alright you got a function you got a function you got a function and now the first thing I'm gonna do is call the starting function right now so I go up to the starting function what do you want me to do do first function so then I go up to the do first function and print out I am first bow so this is actually the first thing it's gonna print out right here and it says alright I'm done with the first function now what okay you told me to go do the second function so I'll go up here and print out two 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 okay so basically print out this and print out this and then I'm done so let's go ahead and save this and see what we got I am first bow and two 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 so basically the only function that ran is the starting function and then all this one did is it called the first one and called the second one and then it quit and that's our whole entire program so anyways what I want to show you is you can use functions like the starting function to start it off and call other function and you actually do that a lot of the time so for example if you have a lot of code you can organize some in the do first organize some in the do second and it makes it a lot cleaner than having this huge long list of code you can break it up into nice little functions and then later on when you see alright something weird is going on with this first function you know what bit of code is messing up so anyways that's why functions come in handy but now that I have time and that tutorial took me a little quicker than I thought I, get, I bet you guys are wondering this what would you do if you had a function like first and then it called the second and then that one called the first which would call the second and it was just like an endless loop well I'm not sure but hey I never did it before but let's go ahead and find out my guess is that my computer is gonna blow up but you guess uh, in the comment box what you think is gonna happen below it, my computer just might freeze or something but oh well I'll make sorry again so function do first and I don't recommend doing this but let's go ahead and just document dot write something on the screen uh, just write first we'll make it simple and then what we're gonna do is call another do second function from here and the do second function function do second let's just go ahead and have this one write out on the screen um, just write out second and let's have some spaces actually first and second so it isn't all jumbled together if it actually does print out and then this one is going to call do first so basically what's going to happen is whenever you call one of these functions it's going to print something out call the other function print something out call the other function print call print call print call print call I'm just going to do that for like the next three minutes until you 
get tired of me and go watch another video. But anyways, it's just going to go back and forth. But if we run it right now, nothing's going to happen because we just have two functions waiting there. We didn't call any of them yet. So now let's go ahead and start off and call do first. So the first thing it's going to do is call this first function and then from there it's just going to be an endless circle. So now let's go ahead and save it and when I refresh this, I'm kind of scared to press it. Alright, I'll do it. Whoa. <laughs> so then it just printed out an endless list of first and second. I wonder if this even stopped printing out. Yeah, it finally just gave up. So, <laughs> so that's pretty cool actually. That Mozilla Firefox just give up after a uh, certain amount of time so yeah that's what I would do too that's why I had to drop out of college just gave up after a certain amount of time but anyways there you have it how to make an endless loop of functions again I wouldn't recommend that in any of your programming and if you're going to interview for a job please do not mention this and do not mention my name or my reputation would be ruined but for now thank you guys for watching my tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I guess I'll see you later